I feel like I'm putting on this show, you know, like I'm not really being who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of muggles and Hogwarts and I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. But, oh, fuck. Magic mirror, are you even there? Do you hear me? Do, oh, brilliant, brilliant. It is time that Harry Potter tells the entire universe who he really is. What's inside of me? My, my goo my heartbeat, like in Dirty Dancing. Well, what I really am is, is not, is not a schoolboy. I'm not from some uppity British town. I'm not Lord of the fucking Flies, you know? I'm, I'm more than that. I'm like a bat, a bat in the night. You know what I am? Let me tell you, are you ready? Can you handle it? What I really am? <sighs> Let me show you the inner Harry Potter. I'm Fiddy Sip, bitches! Whoa! I am so fucking tired of broomsticks. I'm tired of witches. I'm ready for some hoes. I'm ready for some bitches. Professor Dumbledore, you Professor Dumblesnore. I ain't Harry Potter, bitch. I'm Harry Twatter. Harry, you're back on set in five. Oh, oh, Richford, brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, my, I'm going over some lines. Uh, uh, brilliant. I'll be right there. Uh, Fiddy. Okay, peace out. Bitches. Okay, Marley, that's it. Thank you. All right, thank y'all. Thank you, Annie. Love you. What else? Hi, y'all. Thank you for coming to MileyCyrus.com, where I am the bomb.com. What up? <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm here to give you all. Oh, let me get myself all together. Hey, so it's been six months since my Vanity Fair shoot. Nanny and my manager, CD, I love them. They're awesome. They had this idea of doing, like, okay, Miley six months later, and so here I am. What else? Anyway, I got three updates for y'all, like I do every month. And uh, first, what I want to show you is, well, I was looking around in my garage. P.S. My house is sick, y'all. It's sick. Mama! No, I just want to make sure you were there. All right. First of all, what I found in my garage, my daddy and me, God, it was my first tour. I think I was like seven so long ago. <laughs> So I found this, my daddy and me, we were in Birmingham, he was wearing this disguise. I was like, Daddy, everyone knows you achy, breaky, heartbreaker. <laughs> daddy. Uh, anyway, so what this is, this was really important to me because it was like, I made it, you know. This is my first tour. Such a little one. Anyway, you can find this at Target. Miley Cyrus presents Target. So, anyway, my second show and tell, my second update. Um, curling iron. I, I know, right, Emily? This is so rad. It's tight. It's tight. Yeah, so this is my second one. I think curling irons are really important because well, when I was first on the show, my hair was all blonde and my mom was like, Miley, you know, go with your real hair, honey. Be who you really are. I was like, Mama, you're right. I was like, baby mama said, what? <laughs> Shut up, shut up. Anyway, so you can also find this at Target. Y'all, you can get it there too, but this is a really, really dope curling iron. Anyway, damn, I'm on. I got me a fan at least. I got me a fan. Oh, oh, before I give you my third update, um, which I'm like, that's as bad as Uncle Earl's wraparound hair, sweet niblet. I want to tell y'all something. I got this um, email from um, Becky Brunstetter in New York, and she's like, so what's your favorite food? And it's green and purple Tic Tacs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Where's my doggy? Loco. Loco. Loki Loke. Logie Logue, hey baby, the best doggy in the whole wide world, swear to God. And I don't really swear. Mommy, come on, I'm just kidding. Swear to God. Anyway, alright, so here's my third update. Um, ta da! I'm pregnant. <laughs> Look, I know y'all are like, she's so young, and I know, and I am, but like, oh, oh, hold on. <sighs> alright, y'all, sometimes it's a little bit much, but. Well, Nick Jonas and I, you know, we're, we're steady, and then he's with the Gomez girl, and of course he broke up with the Gomez girl. <laughs> She's a bitch. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. 
And so I'm like, you know, we got together, and uh, so we're having, well, the doctor says it's twins, and uh, anyway, I'm like, you know, that's tight, and he's like, he's like, snow snap, we're pregnant, oh snap. So anyway, I think it's fierce, I called Jamie Lynn fierce, because she's like, she's kind of like the godmother of teen babies, and she's all, look, you know, you, you, you just, you're a kid having a kid, and there ain't nothing tighter than a kid having a kid. So anyway, y'all, I know it's whatevs, but. Uh, anyway, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna go. Oh, mama, they're grits? Mom, you got grits? All right, y'all. Peace out. I'm gonna, oh, 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 oh. Hello, Tri-State area. I'm Stacy Yanklowitz. Welcome to the Bedazzling Hour. How y'all doing? So good to see you. I know it's been a little while. I was up in the, the book. She is. It's exhausting. Okay, now I have so much to share with you today, and the first thing that I want to talk to you about is my Aunt Ida, who passed, bless her soul. But she gave me a schmata. Well, I thought it was a schmata, but I bedazzled it, and look at it now. Beautiful. Before we go on, I just want to say one little teeny bit of a song for Grandma Ida. Why do birds suddenly appear every time Grandma Ida's near? Just like you, they long to be close to Grandma Ida. 